hi guys so in this video i will show you how i installed an esp32 cam on my quadcopter to create an fpv like environment uh, this is technically the cheapest fpv system you can create so i made this uh, i am using this esp ai tinker esp32 cam module it is very small as you can see i have mounted it on my frame so this thing costs me around 850 dollars i bought it from robo.in which is pune based e-commerce website uh, as you can see the module is very small its camera quality is definitely decent and the frames per second is not that great you can get 25 to 30 fps with good range and it freezes when it gets out of range uh, i hooked it up to the arduino mini power supply which is 5 volt so that i don't have to shoulder any wires and i can quickly remove it i fixed it to the quadcopter base by using a sponge in between to absorb any small vibrations and improve the video quality you can see i simply folded a cardboard piece and attached it to the frame it's decently durable and in case of crash because of this extra space and height of the module it might not get damaged but still this quite quite cheap so even if it get damaged we can simply replace it to extend its range i attached an external antenna to it uh, using the sma connector so here is the antenna i use zip ties to fix the antenna to the back of the quadcopter i bought this antenna from the same website and this thing cost me around 120 rupees which is two dollars it has a 3db gain and it included a cable which simply snapped onto the esp32 you only have to switch a resistor to change the antenna input now this thing gives me a decent range of around 100 meters with line of sight so that is more than enough only the problem with it it's, is its quality and frame drop but for this price it's more than enough so you can create such a system for your quads so that even if you crash them it won't get damaged uh, you also have an SD card holder in here so you can also use that to store the videos that it records or you can live stream them directly to your phone I have loaded the default ESP32 video streaming code in it and it connects to my mobile's hotspot and I can see uh, its live stream in my mobile browser by entering its IP address I will show you now so I will connect the battery let's move to my phone so as you can see it got connected sorry for that so this is the IP address you can find this IP address in the serial monitor so when you connect the ESP32 to your laptop so we can go here and select the video quality I found the best video quality to be VGA with decent frames reduce this and go to start stream so so you can see this is decent quality image we can switch this As you can see the FPS is decent for the VGA mode and the range I got is almost uh, 100 meters which was till the end of my society lane 
so i find it is more than good enough for having fun you can use the screen recorder in your phone to record this on your phone directly or you can insert the sd card in the esp32 cam to record your or uh, aerial photographs i guess uh, i will put another video in which i will record this stream live uh, along with some good footage once the lockdown here gets eased and i can go somewhere where i can fly this properly so thanks for watching this video have a good day